Uh, his tree of eternities now might definitely look like he's got to uproot all his ancients. He um, d has research nature's blessing, so it will be pretty quick, and uh, he could use these in this um, sort of ultimate battle which he will need to fight and that uh, will really just be up to stall to hold off on um, this army he doesn't even really need to win the battle he just needs to hold off the expansion and uh, at that point he can uh, he will be able to win it but there's um, Bob, uh, Robo Goblin just going crazy on these towers just doing so much damage and uh, in conjunction with those uh, with the pocket factory, just so much damage is done, and it looks like that tinker is now going to go join up with the rest of his army. And these um, buildings, which are now walking over, will need to repair the ancient of war on which is by eating a tree. It's um, free, it's simple, and it can make a math of difference. So that's definitely going to be something worth doing before engaging in this fight. And meanwhile, style making the most of this expansion. Let's take a look at what units he's actually building. Building more sorks actually. It's a bit of an odd choice against <laughs> sort of a completely magic immune army between his ancients, his uh, dryads, and his um, tinker. But I guess he assumes that there are some. Um, bears in the army, which and in that case, sort should be very nice. But instead, I think we should probably be seeing, uh, probably I don't know, probably a combination of riflemen. He doesn't have a um, blacksmith anymore, or no, he does. He's rebuilt it. So um, a workshop would be possible if he wanted to go for uh, some, uh, sorry, uh, mortars. But if he wanted those, he'd really need uh, some a lot more breakers as well. So uh, maybe sort of this small air um, component is pretty nice as well. But this, again, this Griffin Rider doing magic damage to what? It will be able to attack the building, so that's re they really can't be your priority. This Tree of Eternity, 7 armor, 2,000 hit points, really can't be what you're um, trying to focus down first. And um, these are Dryads, uh, just sort of trying to bait this army out, but it looks like Style knows what's going on and just chases as far as he's willing to go, but he certainly doesn't go too far into the mist. And uh, item now coming in with this Tree of Eternity and his other um, Ancients right behind it. And uh, this will be uh, pr probably the deciding battle, if not the final battle. Uh, sort of whoever wins this will probably gain control of this mine. Obviously, this Tree of Eternity very ready to mine as soon as it um, as soon as uh, he wins the battle, if he wins the battle. And um, uh, actually, if he loses that Tree of Eternity, though, he's going to need to sell a lot of items to try and build an Ancient of um, or, or a Tree of Life. So uh, he will need to be quite careful to keep that. Uh, Tree of Eternity alive, although as I say, it's definitely not a priority target. And uh, actually, a couple of sorts being picked up for style. Picking up a Berserker, which is um, quite a nice choice against those strides and against the towers, or against the buildings, if I can pardon. And uh, item now, uh, his uh, ancients have finally made it in, and it looks like uh, Style knows that he can't fight this head on, and so we'll just uh, run away. But he should be just use his um, Dragonhawk Riders to try and pick off those drives and then run away, and then uh, just gradually do a bit more damage. A really bad cluster rocket's being used there, and I think it will, it will, a Pocket Factory it is being put up, but again, has it blocked that Tinker? Yeah, it has blocked the Tinker. Tinker needs to run around, I think, at this point. Actually, no, just going to attack the um, peasants as well. So it looks like a bit of a stalling tactic here from item, while he tries to do a bit of. Um, raw damage to the economy and um, item now uh, actually uh, lo losing both his base and his um, peasants and uh, item I think he's um, actually lost this game at this point or sorry yeah, he's won this game at this point I think Stiles really uh, th sort of thrown away this game he just uh, sort of wasn't aggressive enough but I think really credit has to go to item for playing a brilliant game at this point I think obviously it could turn around but with his expansion going up and still 9600 in the mine uh, this has really gone uh, this has gone um, very well for item considering his tremendous hero choices um, Sort of risky play and uh, his all-round general sort of good attitude towards a um, uh, uh, terribly annoying strategy and at level nine now on that on that uh, tinker and we could see a lot of focus here obviously a lot of air coming in and so these um drives are likely to drop pretty quickly but this tinker just has to sort of um sort of play it cool and not not go too aggressive at this point using another um. Uh, cluster rockets, as I say, pretty fun skill to use. And uh, holy, they're actually being using is that level? Yeah, it is only level two, a uh, level one. Um, holy, uh, light though, because Paladin's only level two. But I'm um, getting pretty close to level three, and with a couple more dry kills, that Paladin could be level three. Maybe that's the all that Stalin needs. Stal really has managed to overrun um, uh, item in this last uh, little bit. I was calling it for uh, item just because he had this expansion, but some really nice um timing push combined with um actually master training on those priests as well. So um. Uh, we are now seeing inner fire as well, plus 10 armor on that panda, that's really nice. Um, it means that actually Sal's managing to play it quite well here. And uh, some whispering brought in, hopefully some of them will detonate. Yeah, some of them do detonate, take all the mana off that priest, so it won't be able to cast much more healing or um, inner fire. And this um, Tinker now on the run, and that's a bit of a shame. Uh, he should probably should just try and get a couple more kills, maybe try and kill that Berserker now immediately healed up. And I think that, uh, is that Paladin? Yeah, that Paladin is now level 3, as expected. That was a pretty strong holy late. And uh, this um, Pocket Factory being taken out, this um, Paladin actually really though to 60 hit points, uh, taking a lot of damage down to 30 hit points, and does taken down one hit by that tinker. Just uh, some nice um, softening up with a little um, 
uh, Globins, and then uh, the, that Tinker just comes in for that final blow, and um, obviously with no healing, that uh, Berserker down, goes down really quickly to those uh, Clockwork Goblins, and uh, now actually I'm so close at this point, I think he's actually he might be managed to turn it around if he can just hold this off. Uh, he is now mining with one Wisp, yeah with one Wisp, so it's uh, he, it's not a game deciding thing, but another Wisp coming in here. He might just be able to cobble together enough Wisp to get uh, some good mining going on here. And these heroes are really low, I don't think they have any way of healing up particularly well. And um, Tinker dangerously goes to 10 now, I mean, it's not like it makes a huge difference Cluster Rockets level 2 or level 3, but uh, these uh, two heroes are for um, style are really low. Uh, this um, mount can take a lot of damage, being slowed, uh, actually being spe uh, speeding back up though, and the Tinker looks like he's going to try and chase him now, and possibly could use Cluster Rockets, uses it, hits both heroes, uh, healing being used now on this um, Mount King, uh, but uh, will it be enough to get him away, and maybe some militia could be called to try and get some awesome surround? No, no, no peasants in sight. Uh, Cluster Rockets being used, but missing, that is one of the hard things Cluster rockets so that you can miss pretty quick, pretty easily. And there's um, one Griffin, despite having a um, plus five armor, plus five attack, will be taken down uh, by this um, Tinker with a, t a range Tinker. I mean, just how awesome is that? And he gets level 10, and um, that could be it, folks. Um, it's been such an epic replay. I'm really glad I cast, it, cast this one, despite casting a game yesterday, or um, day before, rather. And um, this uh, trio of eternity will, pass, uh, will uh, build one more. Um, Wisp fill up this mine, and I think there's, I think, um, that Sal knows that there's nothing he can do now. He's not even rebuild, he doesn't have the money to rebuild his paladin, he doesn't have any income, he just has two heroes. He's healing them back up, but I think he knows that that mine is running, and there's nothing he can do against it, and they seem, they seem very happy about this. I think this is a, um, uh, this is a LAN game or something, based, um, based on the names, and so I think, uh, they, they probably are either friends or Sort of, it isn't just some sort of brand. Actually, no, they had an observer, so it wasn't just a random battle in that game or something. But um, hopefully, yeah, you've all enjoyed this game, folks. And an ancient four actually being built—that's pretty aggressive of him, considering he probably should just be building some more um drives at this point. Uh, Tinker has gone back into um normal form using a clarity, and probably will go straight back into Robo Goblin form and go straight for that base. Every, looks like every militia being brought in now for one last ditch attempt. Uh, Tinker really neat. Tinker goes in back into Robo Goblin form. Uses um cluster rockets. Actually, cluster rockets would be really nice against these militia. Hopefully, he will use them. You'll just see how much damage um, level three cluster rockets can actually do because it's actually a fair bit. And um, yeah, there it goes there. And you can actually see he's taken a lot of damage already on this militia. Uh, so this pocket factory again will just be able to mop up those militia. I think. Well, unfortunately, he's level ten, so there's no more experience for this Tinker. Yeah, there's. The only gain is the sort of fun of watching those um, militia die, and they do all go down, and these two heroes are down to very low hit points, and I think Gustav now knows that this game is completely over. Cluster Rock is being used once more, and uh, the panda being chased down by a hero, obviously such fast movement speed from that level 10 tinker just because of that engineering upgrade, and uh, there's the GG. So I really hope you enjoyed that game, folks. A 40 minute game, actually. That game went a lot longer than I expected. I uh, really hope you enjoyed it. Please feel free to comment, rate, subscribe. Thanks, folks.